Uh, face cam. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and a Primal Carnage update. Let's check that out. So in this update, they added two new weapons. One is the PX Assault Cannon, and one is the PX Submachine Gun. I will actually show you those right now, if we quickly head over to our customization. Right here, and now we just go over to Scientist, and perfect. So, first off, I want to start by showing you the new traps that have been implemented into the game. First one is the Gas Mine. The Gas Mine, what, well, it, as it says there on screen, it rapidly drains the stamina of dinosaurs. So if a dinosaur were to step on this gas mine, it just immediately kills their stamina. I'm not even joking. It just kills their stamina. It's pretty insane. And then there is, of course, the new PX Assault Cannon. Which, this thing is pretty freaking strong. I mean, it's made to you know, kind of destroy tanks? So, yeah. That's what it does. So with this new weapon, it's not really too much of a far range weapon. It's more of a mid to long range kind of, but it's not, you know, full blown far range. Also, it's not short range either, which is why I recommend this loadout right here if you're going to be using the PX Assault Cannon. Uh, one, because you already have your tranquilizer tool right here, which is the gas mine. Tranquilizers are just stuff that kind of drains their stamina, doesn't really do too much damage. And you already have that right here. But whenever you're using this, you're pretty restricted to targeting enemies from a little farther away, and probably some larger enemies if you're fighting up close. So something like a Dilo that would like to hide behind you, or something like that, this isn't really too ideal for fighting them, which is why I recommend having MK other than, you know, a gun that's going to drain their stamina instead of their health. Uh, as opposed to using the tranquilizer rifle, I like to go with this because you already have your tranquilizer here, and then you got two powerhouses there. And with the regular sniper rifle, you can choose with this, but I would recommend the Trank Dart Gun. But hey, we're going to run with this new weapon and this new trap for the sake of the video. Next up with Trapper, uh, his guns have been completely reworked to now uh, left click fires the left gun and right click fires the right gun, which has been a long requested feature. So yeah, I'm really happy they added it. I like it so much better. The shooting's better. There was really no need to aim down sights before, like, at all. So this one is just so much better. And it also really helps the new gun, which is the PX submachine gun. If you just shot both at the same time, it would not be good. Because, actually, how these guns work is whenever you shoot one at a time, the actual, like, the spread cone of the bullet is surprisingly really small which is you know obviously good but it's pretty accurate whenever you're just shooting one surprisingly too i would think since it's such a rapid weapon it would have been you know more spread but it's not but it's just whenever you shoot both at the same time the cone widens next up on our trap list we have the bear trap right here the bear trap acts just like the net gun but it's stationary on the ground. So whenever, say, a Dilo were to walk up on the bear trap, it would trap it, uh, float slightly above it. I don't know why, but it does. Probably because there was an error and... I don't know. It's a new trap, so it just, uh, it just floats... Uh, don't ask me. It just floats slightly above it, and the Dilo struggles on the ground, and that gives the trapper time to shoot it and kill it. Or you can knife it, but I prefer to shoot it instead, just to get it over quicker and just in case, because the knife isn't always so reliable whenever you're trying to kill a downed dino. Then there is the zap trap, which obviously, you can probably already imagine, correlates with stun gun instead of the net gun. So what this does is it doesn't immobilize the dinosaurs like stun gun, do stun gun did. Now it just makes it so they can't use their primary attack, and I believe it deals a little bit of damage in the process. Uh, they completely reworked Stun Gun, so Stun Gun now has a charge up, where, like, 
the more you charge it up, the more they stay immobilized and the more they can't use their primary attack. And if you charge it up for too long, then it actually shocks you and does like about 25% of your health as the trap. One other thing with a bear trap is actually whenever it gets caught on something like a Carno that can't be like netted, it'll actually attach to its legs or wherever it got hit, which does damage over time. So if you want to get rid of this, your best bet is to, like any other dinosaur game, sit still and just crouch on the ground. If you are moving, then it does more damage. If you're running, it does even more damage. Standing, I believe, does some damage as well, but not nearly as much as walking or running. For the sake of this video, I'm going to switch to Bear Trap because, I don't know, I just, I like Bear Trap. <laughs> bear Trap's cool. And I probably will, and I'll, I'll use the PX Submachine Gun, but I'll stick to Net Gun. Just to show you around with the new stuff, and oh my god. Okay, so I loaded into Absentia, and now I'm on the desert map. So, you know, not great, though the desert map is, you know, usable now. It's actually in the proper location. Let's stick behind the truck over there. Oh yeah, Pyro also has 185 health now. No one knows why they gave him that. But he has it. I'm gonna take your kill, Raptor! Come here! Damn it! This Trapper thing is gonna net me. Net the Carno. I don't know if he was actually aiming for me, but he could've. I'm gonna say he was. Koopas also can one-shot now, I forgot to go over that. Yeah. There's, since knockback is completely velocity based, and they added a new feature where if you dive straight down as flyers, they actually reach like a maximum velocity and they make a sound whenever they do so. It does serious damage whenever you hit someone from straight down, but it also sends them flying and they die immediately by fall damage. Oh, that's weird. No, you're not just lagging, my friend. You're, um... Uh... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I hate that. Oh. Wow. Oh! Okay, go get some kills, I guess. Here we go. Trapper! I'll take you. No, that's not Trapper, that's a scientist. Either way. Here we go, Trapper. Oh boy, Pyro, 185 health. No one knows why, but he does. Oh no. No, no, no! Did I just run through fire again? No. Okay, I'm good. Damn it. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I'm on fire again. God. I think you should only get like 10 XP if you save yourself on fire. Maybe. Maybe not any. Technically, you're not even helping your team. You're just helping you. Like, you don't get XP for the healing. Gas line, that's what it is. Ah! Gas going I didn't think I was in range of it, really? Oh, yeah, I guess. Here you go, Chunko, I'll help you. Or I'll take your kill. Either one. Oh boy, here it is. I am holding down the recoil, I will show you what it's like without recoil. Or without me holding down the recoil. And then, with both weapons firing. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna shoot one at a time. But yeah, you can get the recoil really small. 
Also, first firing is highly recommended by the devs. It's also in the... Or the yeah, the passion is that doing it in small groups like this is a good strategy.
reload again! What did I click? Did I still have one in the chamber and I canceled the reload? I thought they removed that. You know what, since we're not even gonna since we're not even gonna be able to play Pyro this entire round, I'm just gonna show you this. Fucking cool. There, it, it just it just damages you. I, d I don't know, I just look, it's a it's a feature. Good one, up for you to decide. A useful one? Again, up for you to decide. Let's try this again. Let's see how far away you can be and still does damage to you. I can see it did damage to me. I didn't even know where it was. Oh man. I need to recover. Uh, one more round is these and I'm actually going to switch them back. But yeah, just giving you a little show of what they do. As if you haven't seen that from eight YouTubers by now. No, screw it. I don't like submachine guns. Ah, I hear scary noises. Scary dinosaurs. Okay. This is going to be a very fun. Remember when dinosaur games were fun, everybody? Remember back in the day? Remember when Legacy wasn't going to be deleted? You just took that kill, didn't ya? There is one thing I'm going to say, and it is, please nerf Raptor Radius. There is no reason that it needs to be that high. Raptors completely replace tyrants in battles, and they do not need to get this kind of nerf radius. They do not deserve this kind of treatment. Like, playing Nova, take any skill at all. Ovi, barely any, but still some, I guess. Ovi's just the more respectable Nova when you really think about it. But I don't respect Ovi. Bullet travel is so unpredictable. Like, I don't know if it's going fast, or I don't know if it's going slow. I can't tell. Like, sometimes it feels like it's going so fast that it's, like, overpowered, and sometimes it just goes so slow that it's like, I don't want to use it ever again. Wow, okay, that's pretty can it go through a tyrant vertically? Like, obviously I'm not saying bullet vertically. I'm saying, can it, like, go through a tyrant's mouth and just, like, exit through its tail? Does it do that? Or does it only do it whenever you're facing the side of it, and not the front of it? Wow. I am not proud of that one. Okay, yep, go to the stratosphere. I will go too then! I'm sorry. 
Hey, if you apologize before making a kill, it's acceptable. Social. Trap kill. There we go. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that's what the anti tank rifle would do to you, I guess. Oh, hey, I can try out my T Rex. Or not. There we go. This seems nice. Oh, I love this skin. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, oh I love this skin! Okay. Health and tyrant stamina are like horrible. Like I know if a tyrant were to get ripped by bullets like that in real life, it would be absolutely critical, yes. But like it's a video game. People do have will to live. So like I just dodge that bullet by tail whipping? Yo, I'm a gamer. More so just absent. You know, what can you do when there's no other surface to play on other than absent? Which I really wish this game wasn't as dead as it is, because there could be so much more servers with so much with different people, and it's not always just this, constantly, every day. Get to the chopper is really fun someday, but if you get match, it'll be just as annoying. Wow, I hit the money shot, cool. Yeah, so this is how Tupa can one shot. Okay, I hit a tree, that's fine. Are you using spaz? Who uses spaz? Oh, the manager just said Raptor. I thought they got rid of that. I've never heard of him once in the original game, and that's when he interrupted me. I finished my sentence.
So you're telling me out of every hit that just that whole that's the one that funny shot there you go oh my god he clipped a wall he clipped a wall I killed him anyway but still I'm mad at that you clip a wall just a little bit you don't get any of the points for the damage I, I never under- okay, look, this, this trapper's on fire. What- what causes that? I never understood. What causes a human to be on fire? I- That's been coming up so much lately. I never understood why that happens. Why does it happen? What causes that? Is a cryo shoot at a human as a pyro flares as flare? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, so I realized I didn't actually do an outro for this video after I got killed by that uh, flaming hot trapper. So I will decide to do one now as I show you guys the store. I won't go into full depth within the store, but I do just want to say thank you guys all very much for watching. And if you do want to see more PC content, make sure to like the video. It lets me know that you guys are actually enjoying the content of Primal Carnage PC. I will start doing streams more often. I was thinking of actually doing one tomorrow, which is when this video goes up on Monday. So, if you guys want to see that, just post that in the comments, I'll do it. And I was thinking about possibly doing a little bit of a giveaway during one of my streams, if that sounds interesting to any of you. So, I mean, hey, uh, you guys can make it happen if we uh, get enough support on the video. I'm not going to set a specific like goal, I'll just, you know, judge it. But thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you join my Discord server down below, it is in the description. We are planning to host some events there, and with those events you do win things like exclusive roles, uh, you get an ex like a text channel and a voice chat, and you get more influence on what I should do for my videos. and. A lot of the times, you guys will actually be able to partake in some of my videos. Yes, I will be starting some videos like that, where I will have some of you possibly in the match or just fighting with us or something like that. Just helping, having fun, meeting friends there. I don't know, just playing with you guys. So if you want to do that, just make sure to click on the link in the description, join my Discord server. I'm active in the chat. But uh, yeah, thank you guys all very much for watching. This is the store for the St. Patrick's Day March Munitions event. Emerald Tupa has its own screen. Then for specials, we have a lot of last year's items, like the Bioluminescent Spinosaurus and Bioluminescent Rex. And as I was editing, I noticed my tone of voice wasn't really great. I was really tired at that time of recording, and I was also... Like, my head just really hurt, so I kind of stopped it early, and I wasn't really too enthusiastic, so I apologize for that. But hopefully it made for a good video, and I will see you guys in the next one, which I think will... Well, it'll be a stream, but I delete my streams after. The next video, I think, will be either Primal Carnage Onslaught or the original Primal Carnage, so... Thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.